Here's the backstory. I teach a machine learning class and I get a ton of feedback from my students. And the feedback is great, but I just don't have time to go through all of it. So I've been thinking about hiring someone who can just go and process the feedback for me. But then a couple of weeks ago, coincidentally, Zapier reached out to me to show me what they're doing with AI in their platform. And then I had an idea. What if instead of paying someone else to process the feedback, what if I built an automation using Zapier that processes the feedback automatically for me using artificial intelligence? That is what I'm about to do right here and I'll show you how to do the same thing. By the way, this video is sponsored by Zapier and I'm going to be recording a bunch of these workflows and a bunch of these integrations on their channel. So go and subscribe to their channel so you can see more about this. In order to build my feedback automation, I'm going to start by creating creating an interface. This is my Zapier account. I'm gonna click on form and I'm gonna create a simple form to do this. Now, I like to ask people for two questions. What do you like about the program and what can I do to improve it? So let's edit this form and add those two new fields. I'm gonna add a new field here. I'm gonna make it long text and I'm gonna say, what do you like about the program? I'm gonna insert this field, that's awesome. And then I'm gonna add a new one that says, it's also long text. What can I do to improve it? Okay, let's keep it simple. One thing that I don't feel comfortable doing is asking for email. So I'm going to change the position of that, the email field. I'm gonna put it uh, last, and then I'm gonna edit it so I don't make it required. So whoever wants to give me an email, that's awesome. If not, they don't have to. Okay, cool. Now I have a form. Now I can just go and click on this link, and this link is gonna open the form, and I can just try it out. I have some feedback, real feedback that I receive, and I'm gonna use that content just to submit it here, just for testing purposes. What do you like about the program? Well, here is some content. What can I do to improve it? Well, extending the course one, two more lessons would be nice. Okay, that's awesome. Let me provide an email here. That's my email, and I just submitted the form. Okay, so this is working, that's the form. Let's now build the integrations here. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna edit the form and I'm gonna go to actions and I'm gonna add an action for this form. So this action is gonna get triggered whenever a user submits the form. And what I'm going to do is run a SAP. Now the SAP is basically the workflow that we are going to build right now. So I'm gonna click on create SAP and that will open the editor with the form submission right here, which is the first thing that's gonna happen in my in this workflow. I'm gonna zoom this in. You see this exclamation mark that just indicates that I have not tested this specific component. So I'm gonna click test the trigger. This is gonna use the information that I submitted before and it's just gonna send that information here. You can get the answers, that's awesome. Next step is just to do something with AI. So I'm gonna click on that plus button and then I'm gonna go to apps and click on AI and I'm gonna pick ChatGPT. What I want to, uh, to do with ChatGPT is basically process the feedback and turn that feedback into actionable items. A lot of people, the feedback that they send me is just is huge, there's a lot of content there. I just need a bullet list, okay? So that's what ChatGPT is gonna help me do. So the event here, a bunch of uh, things that I can do with ChatGPT that are pre-created for me, I'm gonna focus on conversation where I can just provide a prompt and be done with it. Uh, obviously here, you're gonna have to connect your ChatGPT account to Zapier so you can communicate with it. I'm gonna click continue. And here in action is where I'm going to be typing the user message, okay? So this is the prompt that I'm going to be using. Write a number list of actionable tasks based on the feedback received from a user. Very, very simple. Notice that I added here triple quotes and within the triple quotes, I'm going to specify the content that the user submitted through my form. Now, here you get this pop-up that says insert data. And if I scroll down, you're gonna find the form data, 
which is automatically created by Zapier based on the fields that I added on that form. So you see the email, you see the first question, and you see the second question. So I'm gonna add the first question. I'm gonna hit enter here just to give some space. And then I'm gonna add the answer to the second question. So now I'm condensing the user feedback into, you know, inside the triple quotes. So ChatGPT recognizes that all of that is part of the feedback. Okay, so that is uh, good. The model that I'm gonna be using is gonna be GPT-40 Mini. That is a good enough model for, for me. You can use any of the models that ChatGPT provides. I'm not gonna make any other changes here. I'm just gonna click continue. And now I can just test that this integration is working. I'm gonna click on test step. This is gonna send now the information, the form submission that I created, it's gonna send it to ChatGPT and then it's gonna show me what ChatGPT is going to reply. So this is the request and the response says, consider adding one to two additional lessons to the course. That's it, it's just one thing that's coming out of the feedback. So this is awesome. I can either publish my SAP or I can keep adding stuff. I'm gonna keep adding stuff because I need to send those action items somewhere. So what I created before is I have this Excel uh, sheet, this spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet, with what's good, what's bad, and action items. And I have an example here in this spreadsheet. I want anytime somebody fills out the form and submits it, I want my, my SAP to add that information right here. So let's build that, it's going to be very, very simple. So I'm gonna go to this plus button, I'm gonna click add step, I'm gonna find Google Sheets, it's right there. You can connect to anything here. That's the good thing about Zapier, which by the way, have been around for a long, long time. So you can connect to any applications here. So what would be the event? Well, I want to create a spreadsheet row. I want to add a new row to my spreadsheet. I'm gonna click continue. I'm gonna connect to my Google Sheet account. I already did that. Click continue. The action. Okay, so I have to select my Google Drive and then I have to select my spreadsheet, which is gonna be the course feedback here. And now I have to select the worksheet. I have only one worksheet within that spreadsheet. So that's feedback. And now this is automatically populating every column on that worksheet. That's awesome. What do we want to enter under what's good? Well, I can just go to form submission. I can look for the first field of feedback and I can enter that feedback there. And I can go to what's bad, do the same thing for the second question that I'm asking. And finally, for the action items, I can select conversation. So I can get the response from ChatGPT and add it here. I'm gonna look for that response here. There we go, reply, there we go. I'm gonna add that right here. That's the connection. So I'm gonna click continue and now I can just give it a try. I'm gonna click on test step. Now this is just connecting to my spreadsheet. Look at this, this is just beautiful. Now all of a sudden I have the data that I entered right here. That's pretty cool, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna do something else because some of the users might give me an email address. And if they do, I want to be nice and I want to reply to them saying, thank you for sending me feedback. This is how your feedback is gonna help me something like that, right? How do I do that? Well, not everyone is giving me an email, so I'm going to click Add Step and I'm gonna use the Path by Zapier, which is a built-in tool. And what this is gonna allow me to do is just to create a condition here. Now, I only need one condition, so I'm gonna get rid of Path B. I don't need a Path B here. So just gonna click here, delete, really delete? Yes, please, get rid of it. And now I can write a condition. So I'm gonna click there and it says only continue if, okay, that's good. Let me just go and select the email from the form if that email exists, that's it. If it doesn't exist, then just don't go down this path. So I'm gonna click continue and then is going to tell me whether or not my path would have continued for the test data that I have because I provided an email. It says that yes, this path would have continued. That's awesome, I'm gonna click continue. And now it's asking me for the action that this path is gonna lead me to. And for that, I just want to send an email to that person. So I'm gonna click Gmail here. What will be the event? Let's just 
send an email. I'm gonna click continue. I'm gonna connect my Gmail account, which I already did. Click continue. And here is where I'm gonna fill out the fields to send that email. To who am I sending an email? Well, obviously to the email provided by the user, which I know if I'm here, I know the user provided it already because I'm under specific condition. From who? I'm just gonna pick my email address here from the list. What will be the subject? I'm gonna say, thanks for the feedback. And now I need to just enter the body here. Okay, so here is just a quick quick email here i'm saying hi there this is an ai response i'd like to disclose that this is not me uh, replying to the email directly but i wanted to let you know that i received your feedback and here are the action items that chat gpt generated from what you told me now obviously here i need to just show the generation whatever chat gpt decided to create as action items so I'm just gonna go to the, the pop-up of insert data, I'm gonna go to conversations, find the reply, and I'm gonna add right here. And then I'm gonna finish the email saying, let me know if I'm missing something. Thanks, Santiago's AI bot. Okay, so that's cool. I think, what am I missing here? Am I missing anything? I don't think so. I think this is done already. Let me just see. I'm not gonna enter any attachments, no signature. I'm gonna click continue, and now I can give this a test. So I'm gonna just test this step, and this should send an email to myself from myself. So I'm gonna go to my Gmail account. I see, okay, there is a sent message, and as you can see, this is the email that I just sent myself. Okay, so now I'm ready to go. This is it, it took me, how long, five minutes? This is it and I honestly don't have to pay anyone to just do this. So the final step is to publish this thing. I need to publish this app so I can actually share the link to my form and people start entering my uh, feedback. So I just click on published, uh, awesome. My SAP is live, I'm gonna go home. This is taking me home. Uh, let me go home, let me go to the interfaces and let me just find the link to the interface that I just created. Here is the link, I'm gonna click on that link and this is the link that I have to share with people. So let's give it one more try, let's enter some feedback and let's see if everything is working as it's supposed to be working. Again, I'm just typing here feedback that I already got from other users. What can I do to improve it? That is a long paragraph. That's really, really hard to process manually. So I'm just gonna submit it here. Also gonna add my email and then I'm gonna click submit. And I'm, then I'm gonna wait just a few seconds to give time to that SAP to do all of the processing. And here it is. I have what's good, what's bad. And then I have three action items coming from the feedback of the user. And all of that took me five minutes to build and it's just running. So anyway, if you really, really like this, make sure you go to the Sapier channel and subscribe to them. They're sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be building some of these integrations on their channel. And I hope, you I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.